Dressing for success is an important part of the internship and job search process, as it ensures that you are putting your best foot forward and making a good impression on potential employers. There are three common levels of professional dress. Business professional, smart casual, and business casual. The differences between these types of dress are often subtle, but important. Business professional is the most formal level of professional dress. This style is most appropriate for interviews, career fairs, and more formal events. Some offices may have a business professional dress code as well, although current trends lean towards a more relaxed look. Examples of business professional clothing include jackets and blazers with the matching pants or a conservative skirt. It is recommended to opt for a darker, more traditional colors such as black, navy, or gray. A button-up collared shirt and a tie combination or a tailored conservative skirt are recommended for business professional. Smart Casual will combine elements of business professional and business casual to create a tailored, put-together look. Some offices adopt a smart casual dress code, but this look may also be appropriate for interviews at companies that have a relaxed dress code or at a networking event. Smart casual allows for more flexibility and personal taste than business professional. Examples of smart casual wear are wide ranging and include jackets, outfit enhancing jewelry, dress pants, dress skirts, shirts, tailored sweaters, vests, ties, matching leather accessories, and leather pull-on shoes and boots. The examples shown here will help you get a sense of the smart casual look. Finally, there is business casual. Business casual is the most relaxed of the three levels of professional attire. Many employers adopt this dress code in an effort to allow employees to feel more comfortable on the job and to have a more freedom of expression through their choice of attire. Although business casual is casual, it also doesn't mean that anything goes. Business casual is difficult to define, as a lot of clothing items can be defined as business casual. In this case, it is easier to explain what is not considered business casual. Clothing items to avoid include jeans, athletic wear, shorts, skirts above the knee, sundresses, sweatshirts, t-shirts, sneakers, and open-toed sandals. Otherwise, you will see a combination of business professional and smart casual elements in business casual. It is also crucial that you know and understand the industry or event culture as you decide what to wear during your internship and job search process. First impressions are vital in the work world. Your attire is part of your collective professional brand. You don't want your first impression on a potential employer to be negative simply because of your appearance. When in doubt, remember it is always better to be overdressed than underdressed and that your clothing should be neat, clean, and fit well. Finally, Forms of self-expression such as color, pattern, jewelry, piercings, and tattoos are often areas of concern for job seekers. One thing to consider is the industry or company you are speaking with. Is it more traditional or forward-thinking? What is the average age of their employees and the leadership? Is the industry more conservative in general? In the end, it is up to you to decide if this self-expression is worth the risk of not being considered for a position. If self-expression is important to you, consider exploring industries and organizations that allow freedom in this area. Contact Business Career Services in 1130 Capitol Federal Hall with any questions and good luck with your internship or job search.